Hey lovelies! If you find yourself in a breakfast rut and are sort of sick of the same old, same old every day, then today I've got something really new and fun for you. They are two ingredient waffles and they're super simple to make, but they also happen to be totally keto friendly for those of you living that low carb life. Now the two ingredients we are going to be using for these waffles are some eggs and some cheese. That's really it. In fact, online, these are often referred to as chaffles, cheesy waffles. Now they can be enjoyed savory with a little bit of sour cream and chives like I'm doing today, or because they're really mild in flavor, you can also enjoy them as a sweet waffle topped with some maple syrup. It's really up to you. In my bowl, I'm gonna get started by cracking two eggs. These are nice and protein packed too, so they're a great way to start the day. I like serving them up with a ton of fresh fruit for the kiddos. We're just gonna get in here with our whisk and whisk up these eggs until they're well combined. I don't know about you guys, but eggs are just one of those ingredients that I always have on hand at home. My fridge can be totally empty, but there will always be eggs and therefore no one in our house will ever, will ever starve. And that's a great thing. And then once you've got your eggs all whisked up, you're gonna go ahead and add your second ingredient, which is actually just some shredded cheddar cheese. In fact, you can use any cheese you want in this recipe, to be honest, like mozzarella would be really good, Swiss would be fine if that's what you wanted to try. One thing to keep in mind is that the finer your shredded cheese, the better your waffles are going to turn out. So try to get that cheese nice and fine when you're shredding it up. And basically all we're gonna do is just stir our cheese and our eggs together. I know, it seems like a bit of a strange thing so far, but bear with me. Once that's all mixed together, our batter is ready. So I'm just gonna set this aside while I get to work on preparing my waffle maker. And then in absolutely no time, we are going to have these incredible cheesy waffles that are so super good. So one of the first things you'll likely notice is that there is a lot more cheese than egg in your batter, and that is exactly as it should be. These are supposed to be cheesy waffles, not sort of eggy omelet waffles. The egg really is just there to bind everything together. Now for these fun waffles, I'm going to be making this adorable little mini waffle maker. It's by a company called Dash. You can usually buy it at big box stores or online. I will link it in the description box below if you want something like it. You can use really any kind of waffle maker you like. I just love the mini kind because it makes these sort of ego sized waffles that my kids totally adore. Now the first step, now that my waffle iron is sort of heated up, is just going to be oiling it a little bit so that our waffles do not stick. And I'm just gonna do that with a little pastry brush and some vegetable oil. You could use cooking spray here or melted butter if you wanted to, it's totally up to you. You just wanna make sure that it's nothing sticking to your waffle maker because of course, that is not in the spirit of the exercise. Now, I like to go ahead and use about a quarter cup of batter per mini waffle. You may need a little more, a little less, depending on your waffle maker, but I find a quarter cup works really well. Once my batter is in my waffle maker, I'm just gonna close my lid and then I'm gonna let these cook away for about three minutes. That's usually the time it takes for these to get nice and golden, that cheese to get really melted and then nice and crispy on the edges. And let me tell you, those crispy edges are really the secret to making these waffles amazing. Oh my gosh, and just as I've been talking to you guys, I can smell the cheesy goodness coming through here. Oh, so good. Okay, after about three minutes, here is what we've got. Woo! It's so cheesy smelling and delicious looking. And you're just gonna use a fork to help lift it off to a plate. And then we'll just repeat that until all our batter is done. Now, once you've got your nice big stack of waffles prepared, they are ready to be enjoyed. You can have them savory like I'm gonna do today, topped with a little bit of sour cream and some chives, but they are actually mild enough in flavor to also be enjoyed sweet. So if you wanted to just hit them up with some maple syrup, that would be really good as well. These are really, really versatile. There's so many different ways you can use them and I hope you guys love them as much as I do. If you give them a try for yourselves, don't forget to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. 
Remember, this recipe, like all of my recipes, can be found on our amazing meal planning site, healthymealplans.com. It allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and then automatically generates your grocery list for the week. How great is that? Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.